Hello everyone, my name's Ben McHenry and I'm in charge of the museum's Earth Sciences collections. Today, here we are in the Mineral Gallery and I've got some wonderful treats to show you. So come with me and we'll have a look. Now the Mineral Gallery is full of the most amazing and beautiful minerals and so it's hard to choose one of my favourites, let alone two or three. But I'd like to start here with this blue mineral here. This is called lazurite. This specimen here was mined in Afghanistan for jewellery purposes. Now I suppose the most famous lapis that you might have seen in books, on television or even visited yourself is actually the lapis that you see in Tutankhamun's funereal mask which is now in the uh, National Museum in Cairo. The other thing that's amazing about this lazurite is not only is it used for jewellery, but when it is ground up it actually makes an amazing dark blue pigment which doesn't fade and it has been prized by artists and painters for thousands of years. And if you go into a Catholic church, every time you see a statue of the Virgin Mary, she's painted with ultramarine and that is because it was the most expensive and rarest paint to use. Now I hope you know that South Australia has an amazing and very proud mining history. In fact, the birthplace of the Australian mining industry was here in South Australia. But we were settled in 1836 and again, by 1841 and the early 1840s, the colony was struggling financially. We were almost bankrupt. It was actually the discovery of copper at Kapunda in 1841 and copper at Burra in 1848 that actually saved the colony from bankruptcy. And in 1851, Burra was producing 10% of the world's copper. So rich were the copper mines here in South Australia. Now this part of the copper display focuses on the Olympic Dam mine up at Roxby Downs in the far north of our state. It is the fourth largest copper deposit in the world. It's the world's fifth largest gold deposit. And on display here, we have a sample of gold from the mine, and this is actually South Australia's largest gold specimen in existence. Now, as a special treasure we have here, a sample of gold that was mined in 1846, and this is probably Australia's oldest known gold specimen. Since the 1920s, South Australia has produced over 80% of the world's precious opal. So we certainly are the opal capital of the world. This is the Fire of Australia. It is the world's largest piece of uncut, unpolished, quality, rough opal in existence. It weighs almost a kilogram and it was found in 1946 at Coober Pedy by Walter Bartram. This stone has stayed in the family's possession right up until a few years ago when they generously offered it to us for sale. Uh, we were very, very lucky that the federal government helped us acquire this and it's on display and it's one of the key pieces that we have in our opal collection. So from opal to copper to something from overseas, I hope you've really enjoyed hearing some of the stories that lie behind the specimens here in the Mineral Gallery at the South Australian Museum.